So I'm going to be spending a little bit of time in the basement so that I can paint the rest of the stuff. But I think you guys have seen on video anyways, the headers and X-pipe, as well as the harmonic balancer. So there it is right there. Like I said, it came out pretty decent. <sighs> a couple more things right there, but over here is where everything is. So I dedicated one room just to, I mean, it's storage, but I have all my stuff that's been taken apart. Put it down here. And there's everything right there. And then on the left side is all the stuff that I have to install. That's going to get replaced. So, ah, <sighs> time to start cleaning and painting. I think I'm going to start off with the valve covers and then see if anything else uh, needs to be painted. But I, I mean, I'm going to clean everything, including those fans, intake uh, manifold heads, of course. Start removing all the valve springs from there. And then maybe even some of the new parts are going to get paint on them. We'll see. We'll see. All right, valve cover gaskets, here I come. Just gently pushed on the bolts and they popped right out. Soak that one with simple green, all purpose cleaner. We'll start working on that one too at the same time. Okay, so everything has been cleaned thoroughly with not just the degreaser but also lacquer thinner and my favorite prep all. All right, so now I'm gonna apply this. Well, actually, you know what? I don't even have to because this has that metallic finish. So I'm just gonna apply this red coat automatically to it. Okay, so the first coat has been applied. I don't know if this paint's actually gonna be able to cover everything fully or not, but uh, if it doesn't, I'm just gonna paint over it with the gold. So the second coat has been applied. It doesn't look all that bad. I don't know if I'm gonna do the gold or not now. It looks pretty looks pretty okay this way. I may just keep it red. I don't know the decisions. Alright, so as you can see. Uh, any kind of imperfection that was on there is popping out and I really don't feel like spending that much time sanding it So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint over gold. It's what I wanted to do in the first place But I just wanted to see how the red would turn out And there's a first coat applied a little bit of a heavier uh, Gold coat just because it already had two base red coats and uh, It actually doesn't look all that bad I'm uh I'm almost toying with the notion of leaving it like this, even though I won't. With that red kind of popping out from underneath the gold. But I don't know. Let me let me think about it. I do like the base red, so it turned out actually pretty okay. But most likely I'll do another coat of gold and call it a day. So I just finished painting them. There's still a very tiny bit of red that pops out on a couple of different angles, but I am 100% okay with it. It actually looks really good, so it's going to go with the overall theme of the entire engine, but yeah, these, these things are actually pretty filthy, so it came out pretty good in this flat gold look. I know it looks a little bit shiny right now. But that's literally because I just painted them, finished the last coat about 10 seconds ago, prior to recording this video. Okay, uh, time to see what's next. So what I think what I'm going to do is... Mama. It's just a butterfly, it's okay. <laughs> it's a nice butterfly. You scared me. The butterfly scared you? Yes. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to continue cleaning these things what that I have off. I have to take everything out. Broken? No, it's not broken. We're just upgrading it. Alright. 
So yeah, yeah. radiator's next. Okay, so the radiator has been cleaned up. Oh, stink bug. Hate those stupid things. There it is. All right, time to get the next thing. Okay, time to clean the fans. So that's about as clean as it gets. There we go. Everything's been thoroughly clean with the greaser. And then what I ended up doing is I just took a, a brush and went around everything to clean it out properly. Up next are the coils. I think with the coils I'm going to be a little bit more gentle just because of all the electronics surrounding it. Coils are clean. Took a little bit more than the fan just because there's so much so many little crevices but took my time and got it all clean. Okay so just cleaned the battery tray surrounding plastic about to clean the the engine covers and then there's a couple more parts over there that I'm gonna clean and then I'm gonna take my time with the intake manifold that needed to be clean has been cleaned there were a few clips on that that uh, were showing some signs of rust so I blasted it with that uh, rust to black primer stuff but uh, I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to start working on the intake manifold and there's just a couple more things here and there that really need to be cleaned uh, that are off of the engine. Most of these coolant hoses are getting replaced anyways with these high heat temperature ones. So I'm just not even going to bother with that stuff. But, you know, for example, like the alternator, I may, uh, I don't know if I'll paint it or not. We'll see. But, uh, one cool thing that I got in today, since I got long tube headers, are oxygen sensor extension wires. So I don't have to cut anything. I don't know, it's not recommended to cut it anyways, but I've seen people do it online. So initially that's what I was planning on doing, but it's, both of these were 17 bucks. I mean, who can really beat it? But yeah, that's it for today. We'll continue on tomorrow.